uh, the punch. If you've not seen the punch, go buy the punch. Buy the punch newspapers. There's a story in the punch that will interest you. Um, it's um, the punch. They they sent an email to uh, the U.S. embassy. They sent an email and then asking them what the U.S. government thinks about um, the proscription of IPOB and uh, calling IPOB terrorists. I know the response is in the punch today, and uh, the response is just that uh, the U.S. does not consider um, IPOB as a terrorist group. The U.S. does not consider IPOB as a terrorist group. By the punch. Now, isn't that surprising that the U.S. does not consider IPOB a, a terrorist group and the Nigerian government considers IPOB a terrorist group? Now, think about that. Now, I also encourage you, not just a, a, a punch, I also encourage you, go on Google. The United States government, they consider headsmen a terrorist group. The United, and it's not just the United States government. The United States government, the United Kingdom's government, the World Economic Forum, the European Union, Union they all consider headsmen terrorist groups. Now, don't take my word for it. As you are listening to me right now, as you are listening to me, just Google it. Because I deal in facts. You know, and that's, I mean, that's just it. I deal in facts. Google it. You see that the United States government, the British government, the European Union and the World Economic Forum, they consider headsmen as terrorists. Yet, the federal government under the Muhammad Buhari administration does not consider headsmen as terrorists. Now, isn't this amazing? The people who are considered terrorists by the United States, the United Kingdom, the European Union, and the World Economic Forum are not considered terrorists by the Nigerian government. That's the, uh, the headsmen. Then the people who are not considered terrorists by the United States and then by the UK government, by the World Economic Forum, are the ones that the Nigerian government considers as terrorists. Now, in the whole world, just like you have a dictionary, you know, a dictionary tells you the definition of words. Now, in the dictionary, check the dictionary. Don't take my word for it now. As I'm speaking to you right now, check the dictionary. In the dictionary, a terrorist is identified as somebody who unlawfully uses violence to achieve political aims. Who unlawfully uses violence to achieve pol uh, political aims. Now, I don't, I'm not in support of IPOB. You know, I mean, like, I, I'm not against them, I'm, I'm not for them, I'm just indifferent. And if some of you are really, uh, really conversant with um, current affairs, you will see that IPOP don't like me. They attacked me, they wrote so many articles against me, they really took me to the cleaners. Why? Because uh, Unam Dekanu insulted President Jonathan, my friend, and said that he was a weakling and that um, he did not, was not a good Nigerian leader because of the way he handled the North. And I came out and I said, no, that is wrong. And I attacked him. Uh, I responded to him because you cannot say that Look, President Jonathan was president of Nigeria. He wasn't president of northern Nigeria or southern Nigeria. So I responded, and IPOB, they declared me personal non grata. They fought against me. I'm sure many of you who are watching me are aware of that. I'm very sure that you're aware of that. So don't worry. I mean, Buhari Media Support Group, they're going to send people to insult me on these videos. That's okay. I mean, I'm used to that. It comes with the territory. I'm not a supporter of IPOB, but I'm a supporter of truth. By the dictionary definition of the word that I just gave you, and you can check the dictionary yourself, you see that herdsmen actually fit more into the category of terrorists than IPOB. Herdsmen actually fit more into the category of terrorists than IPOB. So why is it that the Buhari administration is saying that, okay, IPOB, who are not known, I mean, how many people have IPOB killed? How many people have IPOB gone to? Has IPOB gone to go and kill people? Not that I'm aware of. Maybe if you are aware of it, you tell me. But how many people have, have a herdsmen killed? Do you know that in this whole world, the group that is meant to decide who and who are terrorists, it's just like you have the, the group that uh, determines how corrupt the country is. That group is called Transparency International. The, are you aware there's a group called Global Terrorism Index? Global Terrorism Index. Now, again, don't take my word for it. Just Google this group. Every year, November 2nd, they release what they call the, gro the Global Terrorism Index. And then they list all the global terrorist groups from number one all the way to, I think, about number 88. And do you know that according to the Global Terrorism Index, the fourth deadliest terrorist group in the whole world, not in Nigeria, not in West Africa, not in Africa, not in the Southern Hemisphere, but in the whole world. They said the fourth deadliest terrorist group in the whole world are headsmen. 
Just Google it. The fourth, this is the global, this is not even, it's a non-governmental body. It's not affiliated to the United States government, it's not affiliated to the United Kingdom, it's not affiliated to the European Union or to the World Economic Forum. This is the Global Terrorism Index. And they said, headsmen are the world's fourth most deadly terrorist. So in the whole world, only Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram and um, one other group are more deadly than uh, headsmen. Yet our government says that these headsmen are not terrorists. And are you aware that in the world, in the Global Terrorism Index, the last one was released last year, another one is coming out in uh, about six weeks' time. IPOB are not even featured because the Global Terrorism Index does not consider them terrorists, yet our government calls them terrorists. Now you just imagine that. Now, it's not whether you are PDP or whether you are APC. You know, it, it, it's not like that. It's whether you believe the truth. Because no matter what, one day you watching me and I, we will die and we will give an account of our lives to God. So this kind of hypocrisy. Because if they can declare IPOP terrorist group, how soon before they declare Odua People's Congress? How soon before they declare some groups in the South-South? How soon before they declare your own group? But, I mean, are you aware of the NGO bill that is currently in the National Assembly? Do you know what that is for? If you're not aware of that NGO bill, Google it. Watch the video by Chidi Odinkalu, Professor Chidi Odinkalu, the immediate past chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, to know what is happening in this country. You and I, you and I, you see, they send people to insult me. They send people to send me threat emails. They send people to attack me. That's because I'm saying the truth. This is, I'm saying that it doesn't matter whether you're PDP or whether you're ABC. As I'm speaking to you right now, I've read the Quran. I've read the Bible. So there's really, I understand where things are coming from. Even the Bible. Even the Quran, the Quran, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did does not support this kind of injustice that the Buhari administration is is perpetrating. And you know the thing about it is this is like we shouldn't just say. Notice I've never used the word. I don't use the word full and headsman. I don't use the word full and headsman. I use the words headsman. And you have to understand. Fulani headsmen, that word is wrong. Use the word headsmen because the people who are doing these killings. You see, I know a lot about Fulani culture because in 2000, I spent weeks with Fulani people uh, in Taraba State, in Mambila Plateau. You know, I mean, I would have married a Fulani. I would have married a Fulani just that, you know, I, I, I come from a kind of family like, you know, I mean, I, 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 I just don't have the courage. You know, then I was very young. I didn't have the courage to, to, to take a, a, a person who was from a different religion as me to my dad because, you know, it would have caused confusion in the, in the family. But I really understand Fulani culture. I can speak some Fulani. You see, the thing there is this, you need to understand that the people who are actually doing these killings, they are not actually Fulani headsmen. That's why I don't use the word Fulani. You see, you and I, we know the Fulani. There is a subgroup that's called the Wudabe. Wudabe, you know, that, that, that's their name, the Wudabe. And these people, you know, like, uh, they are not Fulani per se. They speak a, a kind of language that the Fulas, the Fulbe people, because the, the, the real name of the Fulani people is Fulbe, that the Fulbe people can understand. But their tribe is actually called Wudabe. And then there's a derogative name that they call them by, just like how some people call Igbos in Yamiri. There's a derogative name that they call them. They call them Mbororo. And then, you know, it's in Nigeria, it's anglicized as Bororo. Yeah, it's actually Mbororo. But they, in, in Nigeria, it's anglicized as Bororo. Those are the ones that are actually doing the killings. Those are the ones. Even within the, the Fulani culture, you know, like for instance, Fulanis are almost 100% uh, Muslims. There are a few of them, a few thousands that are Christians. But Fulanis are, they are not animists. The Mbororo people, the Bororo, because you call them Bororo, these people, you know, yes, some of them are Muslims, but a lot of them are animists. They, they, they are the ones who are, who are largely the, what you know as the, the uh, nomadic cattle Fulanis. And they are not really, because their name, Wudabe, means the uh, means people of the taboo. The mainstream Fulani people, they, 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 I mean, they are not engaged in these killings that you are seeing in Nigeria. The, most of these killings are being done by the Bororo, Mbororo, they are being done by them. So we, we are also in the South, we need to understand these things so that we don't just paint every Fulani person with the same brush. You know, the Bible says that knowledge, knowledge, you know, it, it's good. It says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. 
Not, and then he says that, you know, like, when we don't know these things, we just go and say, okay, every Fulani person is bad. No, no, no. These are not the Fulani. The Fulani people, the mainstream Fulani people are not involved in these things. I know that for a fact. These are things that I've studied. I've spoken at the U.S. Congress. I've given experts uh, um, a, a witness evidence or advice to important people, to ambassadors in the U.S. I've, I've spoken about these things. I, I, can, I understand what's happening because I have family lineage from the north. You know, I, so I understand what's happening. So these people who are killing, these, those are the um, uh, Boron. In fact, as a matter of fact, their own language is actually different from uh, 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 Fufulde. So if they, yes, if 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 the if the food they speak, they can understand. But their own language, and then these people, they are largely the ones that are very very itinerant. They go about, they go about from place to place. But what we are trying to say is that the government of the day, the Buhari administration, must declare these people as terrorists because they deserve that tag much more than IPOB. IPOB. Look at what the definition of uh, what the definition of a terrorist is: people who use unlawful violence to achieve political aims. How many unlawful violence has IPOP done? Has, how many, has IPOP gone and killed uh, people in, in, in northern Nigeria? Have they gone and killed people in, south, in, in southwestern Nigeria? Have they gone to kill people in, in uh, um, um, uh, what do they call it now, in, in the south-south? No. So you need to understand, let us see what is happening. Let us get to the bottom of it. You know, and then, I, I personally, I don't think that President Muhammad Buhari is doing this to, uh, because he is a tribalist. But, you know, he's full on him. And when, the, when, when he starts to take these steps, you know, people who don't understand the, the history of the Mbororo, the, who, are, who, who some people know as the Bororo, who are really the Wudabe, and then the pure Fulanese, they begin to misunderstand the situation, and then they begin to think, oh, President Buhari is just a tribalist, he's doing this because he wants to, uh, uh, as, uh, he wants to protect his own people, and he wants to punish other people, he hates Igbos, he hates Southerners. And so, you see, that's not really the case. But when, when President Buhari doesn't take the right decisions, you know, he leaves people that don't understand these things to so misunderstand them and then it's not puts the country in a situation whereby there's so much uh, so much antagonism so much tension so you know I appeal to northern elders I appeal to people who have influenced the president Bo Mama Dubuari what they have done is unfair if they have declared IPOB as terrorists they need to declare military uh, headsmen they need to declare them as terrorists it is only fair now I'm gonna tell you the truth I'm, a, I'm appealing to you. Don't just go around and say, okay, all Fulanese are... No, 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 no. They are not. I know that as a, as a matter of fact, I have stayed with them. I have lived with them. I have eaten with them. I almost married them. They are not like that. The people who are doing this, I know for a fact, are the Bororo. So I just want to explain these th things to you. And I want to also explain it in a way that you will understand them. God bless you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bye-bye.